A lot of times people ask me, what's the best way to select a cool diagramming tool? If you do a search in Google for best diagramming tools, you can find a lot of comparisons. A lot of tools are available in this area. I don't have a crystal ball here, but I do have some suggestions and recommendations on how to approach tool selection. Periodically, number one consideration is available features. How many diagrams would you be able to do with the tool that you select? Would you be able to expand into a different areas? What are the available templates in the tool that you will select? What are the categories? Would you be successful with the tool in the foreseeable future? Another important consideration is the market share for the company, specifically in the diagramming tools area. This list you see on the screen is from 2018. But if you go to list from, for 2020, you will see completely different results because some companies gain market share on others. What's important to me is when I come for the particular consulting assignment, I want to be able to use the tool right away that the company uses because most likely I will not be able to bring the tool that I have and my knowledge of the old tool that I have. And relearning always takes time. For me, it is very important to stick with the leaders in the particular area. Availability of the tool on different platforms is extremely important. Diagramming tools typically work best on the desktops. It's good to have web version and mobile versions as well, but it's not primary. My key consideration here is making sure that it's available on the desktop and specifically on the Windows desktop where I work. Your situation obviously might be different, so make sure to do the research accordingly. Another important consideration for me is local storage and data ownership. Can I save and store all the files that I created in this tool on my hard drive and take them with me wherever I go? Cloud-based tools are cool. They're kind of accessible from everywhere, but in reality, you don't own any data. You can't export it and move it to another tool. Nobody thinks about it, but what if vendor goes out of business? What are you going to do? Another important consideration for me is continuity of enhancements. If there are new trends or new standards, let's say in software development, would vendor enhance the portfolio of templates available and standards that they support? Another big deal for me is integration with other platforms and other tools. Can you embed the file easily into some other website or into your team collaboration software? For example, if you'd like to share your class diagram with your teammates on the project, would you be able to embed it into the collaboration software with just one mouse click? And last but not least consideration is vendor's continuity. Is vendor going to be in business in three, five, 10 years? Would I be able to use the portfolio of tools that I built going forward? Or would I have to switch to another vendor, rebuild everything, and not being able to use what I already accumulated simply because vendor just went out of business? This is why I select Microsoft Visio. But obviously, this is not the only game in town. What do you think about this? Which tool and which vendor do you prefer for your diagramming needs? Could you please share in the comment section of this video? Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.